what's up? All right, this is part two of the Bandai 148 scale ATST build. I am going to light this and put some sound in it. This is an experiment, and I'll see if I can do it. I bought this Star Wars Jenga Fett keychain laser gun, which had this inside. This is a little board for the light speaker that gives off the sound and the light. I'm going to run it off of this 2032 coin battery. Let's see if I can hook all this up and show you how it works. When these two wires touch, you get the sound and the light. I'll have a momentary switch that will be in between these two wires so that when you push the switch it'll activate and make the sound with the light. It'll all fit inside my head here of the ATST. I'm going to have to build something around the speaker so it'll force the sound through these two portholes so it'll sound a little bit louder because it's really quiet right now. And my momentary switch I'm going to put underneath this hatch so that when you push this hatch it'll make the connection make the sound and the light. Now I'll be using fiber optics to connect to the LED and to do that I will have to drill holes through the laser can in here bring them around through the bottom and into the light and seal all that up so the light doesn't escape. Here's my laser turret. The kit already has two holes in the end of the barrels so I will use those the number 72 drill bit for PC boards and I will drill through the hole slowly as to keep it straight. I've already done both of these and they do go all the way through to the back right here. The fiber optics I'm going to use are coming from this right here. This I got on Amazon or eBay, I can't remember. A couple of years ago, it was like $6. But that's very, very cheap, and you get a whole lot of fiber optic. So, this is what I'm going to use to run through my laser turrets up to the LED so I get the light. But here's my fiber optic right here. And I need to mushroom this end. The way I do it is with Bic lighter. I'll light it and then slowly feed the fiber optic towards the flame until it melts the tip. That's what we call mushrooming. So let me see if I can do this without burning myself. There, see? It mushroomed that tip, made it wider. There, I fed both my fiber optics through with the mushroom heads, and now they won't pull through. They'll stop, which will give a good lens effect to help brighten the light. I've painted the gun turret assembly a darker gray than what the color is going to wind up being, but I'm doing that on purpose paint it all a darker gray and then go over it with a lighter gray so I can maintain some shadows in the cracks and crevices. I've test fitted it together. After putting it together I decided I need to put some tubes here so that the fiber optic could go through for two reasons. One, a little more stability so there's a less risk of it breaking the fiber optics and number two, light leak. 
this will keep the light from leaking through the sides, which it doesn't do a whole lot, but the more you can cover the fiber optic from the light source to the end source, the better light you're going to get. I've hooked up a red LED to a coin battery and placed it on the fiber optics so that you can see how it's going to look. Looks pretty good. I've installed the momentary switch underneath where the hatch goes. So when I glue the hatch on the top, like so, you'll be able to push the hatch to get the laser lights and the sound. This is the momentary switch. I got it at Fry's, which is a local electronics store here. Anyway, I need to paint around this red darker, even though you can't really see it, but I just want to double check. Then I can glue my hatch on top and then move to the, to the next part. Here's my coin battery. piece. I've already drilled out the back of the head of the ATST. And this will slide in. Like this. And be glued. My back piece will still fit all four pegs, and that'll give me my my hatch to be able to open when I need to change the battery. This is the coin battery holder that I'll be using on this project. I also got this at Fry's. I've rewired everything to the board with new wire, shrink wrapped everything. I've shortened the LED so that it'll fit inside the head and I can attach my fiber optics to it. Have my battery connected, coin battery. And now my momentary switch is connected. Let's see if it works. It works. It's alive. It's alive. I've made a insert to go behind these portholes. Just a piece of plastic that I painted black so it will fit in here and it'll also reduce the amount of space that my speaker will set in so hopefully I'll get a louder sound coming through these two portholes here. I've painted and connected my gun turrets to the bottom piece. My fiber optics are glued here and they're glued here in the back so that they don't go anywhere. They stay. I also added a piece back here so it just didn't look right with these two hoses just going into a flat piece so I grabbed a kit out of the parts box I believe this is a head for a NASCAR. <clears throat> anyway, I trimmed it down, cut out a little section so that it looked a little more realistic and functional. 
you're not really going to see a whole lot of this once the whole kit's together, but it made me feel better. I've glued my board down to the base. I've cut my fiber optics, inserted them into a hole that I drilled into the LED. Now I'm going to cover all of this with epoxy, five minute epoxy. This is the epoxy I used. Bob Smith, they also make CA glues. Two part, five minute epoxy. I've completely covered the LED and the fiber optics with two coats, so they are completely sealed. Now I'll take some tulip and cover the entire thing, the LED and the fiber optics so there won't be any light to escape. It'll be completely black. I've put on two coats of the Tulip, the black Tulip silkscreen paint. So now it is completely encased and sturdy and there are no light leaks. I need to put all this into the head. Everything has been put in, glued, and secured. I still have to connect my two wires to my momentary switch for the top. If the speaker is in, the back plate so you can't see through is in. Everything works. Okay, I'm going to solder the top together, put the top piece on, and I'll show you the completed head. Everything is together, everything is working. Still need to glue the top hatch, the back plate comes off so I can change out the battery. Looks good. It's going to do it for part two. Part three is going to be all about the painting, weathering, and then a base to put it on. So thanks for watching and see you for part three.